I would question why Rio got a sequel, but considering the fact that a lot of bad movies get a sequel, I can't say that I'm surprised. Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan, and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie Rio 2. Now regarding the first Rio movie, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. I think it was decent. And because of the fact that it's a decent movie, I don't remember a goddamn thing about it. So there will be no comparison. But anyway, it's time to talk about the movie Rio 2. So the concept of this movie is basically a bird that is as intelligent as a human being has to go to the wild jungle and learn to live like the bird of his type. I personally think that this concept is fucking stupid and I'm going to explain why. The protagonist of the movie is a bird that knows how to live like a human and is about as intelligent as a human. That is not a bad thing. In fact, it's fucking awesome. So why does Blue need to live like a wild bird? It's not like he had a shitty life or anything. In fact, he was enjoying his life acting like a human. Yeah, the concept for this movie is fucking stupid. And with such a fucking stupid concept like that, you can't expect this movie to be good. And it isn't. Speaking of the protagonist, the protagonist of the movie is Blue, played by Jesse Eisenberg. Now, he is a bird that knows how to use objects made by humans. Again, that is fucking awesome. But overall, Blue is a fine protagonist. I wouldn't say that he is a dull protagonist, and I wouldn't say that he is an awesome protagonist either. He is just a fine protagonist. Though, I'm gonna have to be honest, he is somebody that I was feeling sorry for throughout a lot of the movie. He is clearly a good bird with good intentions. But his good intentions fucking blew on his face throughout the movie. That's definitely not a good thing. Now why does he want to live like a wild bird if he is enjoying his life so much? Well, it's not that he wants to do it. It's that his wife wants him along with the rest of the family to live that way. I still think it's incredibly fucking stupid and makes no sense. Because even Blue's children are having a fucking great life. Now the next character of the movie that I would like to talk about is... Nigel, played by Jemaine Kleemer. Now I'm not gonna have to say that Nigel is an interesting character. I understood exactly where he was coming from. Now this bird fucking hates humans with a passion. Which is understandable, I mean after all, humans have hunted birds and done a lot of other bad stuff. So I understand exactly why he hates humans so much. And he is overall a very great character. In fact, I would go as far to say that he is the best character of the entire movie. But there is one issue that I hear with him, and that is a huge, huge issue. And that's the fact that he's a total fucking dick to Blue. Now Blue did not deserve that treatment from him at all. Nicole apparently has issues with Blue because he considers him a human pet. Yeah, I really think that Nicole should have treated Blue with more respect. But overall, yeah, he is a character to understand where he's coming from with hating humans. But I still had some issues with him. Now I'm going to talk about the character Eduardo, played by Andy Garcia. Now this is one of the shittiest villains I've ever seen in any form of media. He is incredibly dumb and his plans for revenge are just stupid. Even though I somewhat understand where he is coming from, for being angry about losing the ability to fly. It doesn't change the fact that he's a horrible villain. In fact, he's such a shitty villain that it was fucking embarrassing. And it isn't even funny. I'm just gonna say that this character is just a failed attempt at humor of this movie. In fact, 
I felt like face farming every time I saw that shitty villain. Now is there anything good I can say about the movie? Well, what positive things you can say about the movie other than what I already said is the fact that the movie looks fucking beautiful. Which makes sense, it takes place in a jungle and the jungle is fucking beautiful. But unfortunately, there are more problems that I hear with this movie than things I like about it. And for that I'm going to unfortunately have to give this movie two middle fingers. I don't understand how anyone could possibly have thought that the concept of this movie was possibly good. Well guys, that's all I could say. Thank you for watching the video.